we have studied root systems root modifications in the first video today we will know more about the stem and its parts in your school campus there must be a variety of plants growing if you have a garden at home you may collect twigs or branches of few plants to study stem is produced from the plumule of germinating seed i want to ask a question to you all what is the direction of growth of a stem usually we see that the stem grows above the soil layer means it is aerial the stem grows towards the direction of sunlight hence stems grow straight now we will study parts of the stem with the help of a specimen students you can see that leaves are produced on stem the point or place where a leaf is produced is called node the part of stem between two nodes is the internode the youngest part of the leaf is present at the tip or apex this is called a bud this bud keeps the stem growing at nodes the stem produces branches have you seen that stems have different heights according to stem height we can group plants as herbs shrubs or trees see example of tulsi it is a herb and plant is short stem of hibiscus and guava are brown hard and woody these shrubs grow up to a height of 5 to 7 feet now observe mango or coconut how is the stem it is hard brown woody and very tall these are trees now let's observe some more plants tulsi banyan mango on the other hand grass sugarcane maize from the pictures you have seen just now plants that have branches and plants without branches tulsi banyan and mango plants have many branches on stem on the other hand grass sugarcane maize stems are without branches banyan mango tulsi are dicotyledonous plants with branch system in monocotyledonous plants like maize grass sugarcane stems are without branches we have seen parts of the stem but what are the functions of a stem in plants stems produce branches leaves flowers and fruits stem also transports water and minerals from roots to different parts food produced by leaves is transported via stem stem a quick recap it originates from radical grows towards sunlight possesses nodes and internodes growing point is present at apex unbranched stem is monocotyledonous branch stem is in dicotyledonous just now you have studied about a normal stem but do you know that stems may be of different shapes and sizes i know it is hard to believe i will show you some familiar pictures ginger potato onion these are all stems but they grow underground in ginger you can see nodes and internodes on stem potato also grows from the tip of branch have you seen a sprouted potato this sprouts are a proof that it is a stem onion has a shape of bulb see the origin of its roots in onion stem is like a flat disk this was about underground stem let us see some other examples to know more about stem now tell me how is lawn cultivated in a garden while cultivating a lawn plants of grass are placed in soil at a distance in a short time those grass plants spread quickly and cover the soil this happens because grass produces runners for fast multiplication runner are special stems in some plants like lemon bougainvillea stems have spines for protection of plant in cactus the part of the plants that looks like leaf and is green is its stem summary today you have learned about the stem and its parts by observing many specimens i am sure that you have realized that stems may look different and perform different functions now an exercise for you try to classify plants from your house garden or school campus into herbs shrubs and trees